Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to be demoing SalonMade. So we're going to start with logging in. Now the login process is very important in SalonMade, um, especially if you are a salon that is going to be having commission, uh, which most salons do. Now how you log in represents who's going to get the commissions. So if you are um, the type of place where each stylist just checks everybody out on their own, then they would log in process the transaction and then they get the commission. If you have a receptionist and the receptionist would have to have the codes for each of the stylists and when they go to check that customer out they type in that person's code and then that stylist gets their proper commission. There's a couple other things about the commission and the way it works here um, and let's actually go ahead and take a look at our inventory here and our products. So when you when you go to the item entry screen you put the item in description, a price. Now again, this is, could be a retail item, this could be a service, this could be a haircut, it could be anything you want. Um, what we're getting at right now, though, is this, where it says commission. The commission is decided on an item by item basis. Uh, so as long as everybody at your location gets the same commission, for example, all stylists get, say, 50% from a haircut, um, then you just type in 50 here, and whoever processes the transaction will be credited properly. However, if you are a location where some stylists get higher commission than others, it's actually best to leave the commission system off and simply run an actual sales report for each of your stylists, um, either weekly or monthly, however you, you do it, um, and then just calculate their commissions on their own. Okay. Um, but uh, let's, let's go through the interface here a little bit. So here we've got our main retail interface here where we ring things up. Uh, here you've got your different menus, men's, women's cuts, and again, obviously this is all completely customizable. You can have as many of these buttons as you want and as many of these categories over here as you want. Services, packages, and retail if you had retail items. Now just a quick note about the retail. Um, you can create buttons just like you have on the screen here, um, or you can simply scan things in using a barcode scanner. Um, it will track inventory on items whether they are scanned with a barcode scanner or if you click on a button to ring them up doesn't matter. If you designate that item as an inventoried item the system will track inventory. Uh, one nice little function that we have here is uh, the packages. Um, when you click on that you can sell a package of things and when a customer comes in uh, basically this is good for five pedicures so when the customer comes the next time uh, you just open up their account and you note that they you know it's 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 it deducts from it shows you what packages the customers purchased and then you can you know note and just click on it that you know they've redeemed this one this one this one and the system will keep track of those things you can do that for pedicures um, massages any anything you want that you want to sell as a package and um, Actually, let's go a little bit more into packages real quick here. Um, if you designate something as a package, okay, it opens up this little thing here. And you can sell a package based on number of visits, minutes, hours, number of days, or number of months. Set an expiration date. Um, so it's got a nice little thing here regarding how to sell packages. Um, so as I said before here, put the item in here, price, select a class, select whether or not you want to track inventory on it. If you do track inventory, it'll set alerts. So for example, if you're running low on an item, it'll let you know when you run your restock report, um, you know, how many you should order, things like that. Well, not how many you should order, but you know, where you're at, and it'll, it'll show up on that restock report at this specific level. Uh, here's where you put the commissions. You know, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. This software is part of our basic line. Um, it doesn't have a ton of, you know, frills and, um, you know, and, and super, you know, high-end features, but it has what a lot of, you know, smaller salons, you know, basically need. It'll meet the basic needs of most, you know, small places. So, as I said before, you got your different things. You can sell packages, services, different products, and then, of course, being a salon, you do have to have an appointment book. So, click over here, our appointment book comes up. And um, all your stylists will be across the top over here. And then you can just see the appointments for, you know, right now I've selected for today. You can look for the week, you know, for the month if you want to go that way. Um, but typically you're going to have it on for the day. And it'll show you all your appointments for the day by time. If you want to add a new, um, 
a new appointment, you can simply click on the box, type in customer phone number, 555-1212, actually, 999-1212, call this person Jen, and we're going to say that Jen is coming in to get her nails done. Okay, hit submit. Okay, when you click on the appointment, it shows you who they are, what they're there for, what their phone number is. And there you go. And you can see everybody scroll down to the day. You can also adjust exactly the increments of time here um, from to and when. Okay, and uh, that is your appointment book. All right, let's go through some of the other functions here real quick. So here's where you put your items in. You got here a list of different items. This will show you the stock levels if you have stock. You can print coupons out. Typical inventory search reports. Now the reports in the system are pretty basic. Um, when you hit the close register report, you can have multiple stations with this software, but each station can only have one shift per day, so to speak, meaning that whatever sales are on your register, they reset at midnight every night. Um, you cannot, there are no shifts where you can count the drawer in the middle of the day or anything like that. Um, it's just one, one time a day you count your drawer, you're on this report um, right before you do, and it balances the drawer and shows the sales. Profit report, business traffic report, low stock report, customized reports are what most places you know find the most useful. Here you'll select the specific product or service and run a report that shows you the sales totals for everything in that, for all, for all your products and services, or just for a specific one. Run a report by customer, run a report by employee, run a report by class or department, and you can run a report for any date range that you want. Once you do these reports, you can either print them or you can always export them to Excel as well. Uh, the software does support um, poll displays. Uh, if you need to have something that shows the customer the price as they ring things up, it does support that. Obviously, of course, a cash drawer. You want to have a separate printer for um, your reports. Weight scales, if you want. It does also support Tmax tanning beds. And yeah, let's see what else we got here. All right, and one other thing interesting here is credit card processing. Uh, the way that works is if you want to use the built-in credit cards, you can use Merchant Warehouse, which is now known as Cayenne, uh, Charge Pro, XCharge, or Mercury. Those are all built into the system um, uh, for free. So the integration is already built into the system. Um, if you don't want to use one of these processors, you can, of course, use any processor you want um, by using your own machine on the side. Um, however, it's obviously always easier to simply swipe things right through the machine. Um, I'm sorry, I mean right through your terminal, through the system itself, having it charge everything on its own. Usually easier, and I know at least that Cayenne slash Merchant Warehouse and Mercury will both uh, do price matching with um, whatever rates you happen to have for a standalone terminal, but standalone terminals are certainly supported. Let's see if there's anything else here in the setup that's important. Uh, here's your quick menu button setup. Very easy. Create a category, add buttons to it. You can also put pi add pictures on top of the buttons as well. If you want to um, put pictures, you certainly can do that. It's very easy to do. Uh, history, look up past invoices, manage refunds, open cash drawer. Okay, um, obviously you can put your employees in. This does have a time clock, so it does do payroll. Um, everybody can be paid either by commission or by an hourly rate. And uh, when they go to time clock here, they can punch in and punch out. Now, obviously, it does not you know, do taxes or anything like that. It just gives you the total hours, and it'll calculate the total pay. Um, anything more than that, you would obviously uh, you know, need payroll software for. Uh, we looked at the appointment list. There's also a walk-in waiting list that you can create for people as they walk in, if you want to do that. You can also um, use the customer list. Now, again, as I said before, with this particular software, typically when you exit a tr when you do a transaction, it will automatically um, bring up the customer accounts. So, for example, if I go to cash this out, say so they gave a $100 bill, hit OK. It brings up the customer account. 
You can start typing the person's name, auto completes for you, or you can just hit skip screen, uh, go back. Um, you can also remove that prompt as well, though, um, and have it not ask for customer information. But for most salons, that is something that you want to automatically have done. Now, with that information, you can, of course, create mailing lists, uh, track customer sales, do things like that. Uh, it does support gift cards, um, as you see here, but the gift cards have to be done through your processor, whether that's through your own terminal on the side or through one of the built-in processors. Um, you do have to get your gift cards with this particular software from them. Um, that's it, the counting. There's a basic accounting system in here. And let's see, nice little features that you can click online help and it takes you directly to the software company's website as long as you have internet access of course and you can click on the salon software for example and uh, go to video tutorials and you can actually watch instructional videos right there online. Um, so that is the basic system. You know, nice functional clean interface doesn't have a lot of you know high-end features that some places need but for the small salon you know it'll do mostly what you need so uh, as always if you have any questions feel free to give us a call thank you very much